Greetings again, this is Dr. Bill Watt with the American Orthodontic Society. And it uh, seems like people are very interested in headgears, different types of headgears. So I want to go over some x-rays and some uh, cases here where we use several different types of headgear. And uh, the one I want to cover today is the J-hook headgear. It's hooks onto your front teeth out here. You have uh, wires uh, soldered onto the uh, arch wire and you hook it on and you can pick the teeth up and you can have an occipital J-hook or a cervical J-hook headgear. And let's get into this uh, one pretty quick and I want to show this little girl with it, her wearing this headgear. Uh, let's see if I can get this moving. Now here, this is an occipital type headgear. We hook it over the occipital bone right up there and it pulls straight up. So it's picking the teeth up like if you put it out here and it's in the front of the mouth, it's picking them up and she has a kind of a closed bite uh, anyway. So we uh, don't mind elevating the teeth like that. Let's look at it from the other side. Uh, the J's, they just come down and hook them in a wire that is welded onto the arch wire right here. And it's, that's why it just makes a, a J in here. So they call these J hook type headgears. And they work, but uh, you can figure out other ways to do it. But I'll run through this case right quick. And she's got a closed bite, you see. And this is a, it's not quite a full class one case. So we're pull, pull from out here. We're going to elevate these teeth and open the bite. And as it elevates them, it tips the teeth out this way. And then we put an arch wire in and bring the lower teeth down to match that. And that's, we just call that a J-hook type head here. And let's run through it and show it. You see how? a uh, deep bite case starting out with us and we've got lateral teeth and these laterals at a kind of an angle causes a cuspid erupting up in this area right here. Uh, you can't see my hand going out there and draw it. It's kind of an invisible uh, part of this thing. But now we put bands on this child and we just put the four bands now this was back in the 1970s, uh, the early 70s when it first started. Now you weld a hook onto the arch wire itself. It goes up out of a piece of an arch wire. It's pretty good if you turn it down where it wouldn't catch anything. And now you take this hook right here and bring it slide it over to here and it hooks this, picks these up and it's on a stalk right here. So this causes you to put torque in the tooth. It'll lean the root back some here as it raises it up. The tooth, if you just took this tooth and showed it something like, like this, and you're peeling it up from here, and you've got it up further, it pushes the root back lingual, puts more torque to it, and that's what this young lady needed. If you look at these teeth, they were tilted in this way. So we want to tilt them back out where they look more normal there. And so that's what this does. So you can see this tooth is tilted here and it's going to move it back in. Now the lower teeth, as you go down, they'll come in and you do this in the mixed dentition and you get this thing all straightened out before the teeth get in the mouth good. Now you sell these teeth right here, we're down in this area. Now we've got them up here, and they're also, they were kind of this way, and now the roots back in that direction. And let's go through, there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're pulling on this, but we're up above the normal area so that puts more 
torque on the teeth as you elevate them, it torques them out further. So that's one of the uses for it. Now we're in the mixed dentition and she's lost a deciduous tooth here and the permanent tooth coming in underneath it. And this is from the left side of the mouth. And there is the thing is, we've got this six year molars banded back here and we've got an arch wire coming over here. It's a, what we call a four by six uh, arch wire. Uh, <coughs> we've got three deciduous teeth left in here, see? And we're, and you can see these teeth have already leaned the, the roots of them are further back. So we've got more torque in them than you had. Now, in some of these, we would come in and put a lingual arch. I don't mess with the lingual arches much anymore. We just use the, the large Big Daddy arch bar. But this was in the early 70s when I was first getting started in here. And you can let's put that in there and control the lower teeth to some extent by a lingual arch. And here we are, 1976, right here, and the teeth are up in a pretty good shape, and now we just let the permanent teeth erupt in and watch it, and this is about where we ended up with this young lady, and her permanent teeth came in in a good position. So this is first phase orthodontics, where you do what you need to and get the teeth in, in pretty well also, that uh, occipital head here was pulling this back, so we corrected the class two relation as we corrected the height of the teeth and angle of the anterior teeth. <coughs> Pardon me again here, but you can see how the teeth have lined up, and we did a little bit of second phase orthodontics, but not much. So we did most of this in the first phase and we use this type of hook and that was the the first phase of j-hook headgear and now we'll say goodbye and i'm going to do the second phase on another young lady here uh, i'm going to pause for this minute All right, greetings again. This is the second phase, or the second case, uh, showing these J-hook headgears. But on this particular case, we won't show the person wearing the J-hook headgear. But uh, you, she did wore the same way this young lady did in the first case. Uh, the second case is going to go here. All right, uh, let me start this. Now this young lady has got a, got a straight facial profile right here and it's not a high angle case for sure. And now we go in and she's got a class 2 problem. See this uh, this motor right here? It should be over here like that. So we need to bring this arch back some while we do the lining up of the teeth down in here. And she's got, uh, I think it's all of her permanent teeth in there now. Now that we've got a mild class two case, and we're using this J-hook headgear on it also. And so if the teeth are all out here, you can take your arch wire and put it in there and you can put these little hooks up here and hook the J-hook to it. And here it is where we banded all these teeth. These are permanent teeth. We just banded everything and we soldered this real. Now this is spot welded and soldered on. And it'll hold a, you know, this thing is coming out like that. It's a, a circle in it and hooked up in there. And we'll pick these teeth up and line them up in this thing. So we're doing the whole thing while we've got these J-hook headgears on her. Now this is, we'll pull that back to a class one relation. We put the 
back then we thought we needed this hook right here and you can have it put here and you pull it out and hook it to the teeth and it'll pull the teeth back some and join them there. That's not absolutely necessary to use that. You can just take a regular arch wire and do the same thing. But now we've lined the other teeth up and we've banded everything except the second bicuspids. They came in a little late and they're in a good position. So we didn't band those teeth. This is back in 1970-something. Um, <coughs> now we've got all the upper teeth banded in here, and she wore this J-hooked head carrier. You see how it's hooked in right up here. And we carried the case on through. And then we could take the, some of the bands off and close the space and pull it together with the with this and then take the anterior part of this off. And so we pull the teeth together and we ended up with a good class one relationship and the, the, we raised the teeth up some. However, we didn't have to do much of that, but we need to. Now here is that second molar, I like that. And before it was somewhere back in here, like that. So we have brought this arm back some there while we allow this or uh, the lower jaw to come on out further. Open that up. And this is 1973, so we must have started about 71. That's right soon after I, I just went with nothing but orthodontics in 1970. But we did a lot of orthodontics up to 1970 but I mixed it with my regular practice. And this is a, a easy way to get back to this position. And that's in a good class one relationship. And that's 1973. Now when we close the space, see we had all these bands on here. We hooked on to our head here up here and this pull a slight elastic cord around that, just a small elastic. And we put a little dot of acrylic there and make a groove in it. And you would run that elastic in there and then you let that person, you took all the bands off and then you told them to go ahead and chew gum if they wanted to. And while they close this whole thing up, it reduces the amount of torque you got in there when you pull them together that way. So we had to have them kind of flared out a little bit when you uh, did that. We could also tighten this up and make it come back and pull back on the upper front teeth at the same time. This is the retainer, and I've, as I've gone over before, we make this with a light cured acrylic, and we save this model that we made this retainer on. If they come in two years later and say the retainer has changed, it doesn't fit, you put take take the bottle out and say, well, this is what we made it on, let me see your retainer. You put your retainer on the model, it feels perfect. You say, well, it's not the retainer that's moved. It's you haven't been wearing it enough. And so go back to wearing it constantly and then gradually come out of it over a period of years. Uh, and here is the young lady after we finish. And you can see she's got a little bit of gumminess to the smile, but a uh, pretty good height for the teeth and opened up the face. So again, thank you for watching. And I hope you will join our group and subscribe to our channel. And I'm going to cover some other uh, parts of headgear uh, later on. There's uh, several different kinds of headgear. So thanks for watching and I'm going to close out right now and we'll hope to see you later.